Let's stand together, celebrating in the presence of our King. Amen. Praise the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now and forever. Amen. Amen. Together let's pray. Almighty, Almighty God, to you all hearts, hearts are open, open all, all desires known, and from you no know secrets are, are hid. Cleanse the thoughts, thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, hear our cry and heal our land. Let kindness lead us 
to repentance bring us back again the lord be with you and with your spirit Thank let you. us pray Praise oh god our never failing providence sets in order all things both in heaven and on earth put away from us all hurtful things and give us those things that are profitable for us through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord. Praise bless you. Bless you, God. From heaven's throne, you came to us and set your hearts upon the cross. We'll never know the sacrifice you made. For all our sin and all our shame, you took the nails and took our place. No one else could do what you have done. One name is higher, one name is stronger than any grave, than any throne. Christ exalted over all. From the grave where death would die, you rose again and brought us life. You're reigning now, the Savior of the world. You're reigning now, the Savior of the world. One name is higher. One name is stronger than any grave, than any throne. Christ exalted over all. The only Savior, Jesus Messiah. Christ exalted over all, to you alone all praise belongs, Christ exalted over all. We'll sing your praise, we'll sing your praise, we'll sing your praise forever, and lift your name, we lift your name, Jesus over all. We'll sing your praise, we'll sing your praise forever, and lift your name, we lift your name, Jesus over all. One name is higher, one name is stronger, than any grave, than any throne, Christ exalted over all. The only Savior, Jesus Messiah, to you alone all praise belongs, Christ exalted over all. To you alone all praise belongs, Christ exalted over all. Praise you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We give you glory, Father. We praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Till every dark addition starts to break. 
Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Because your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Strike through the shadows. Burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety To every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus Cause your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus from the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus, cause your name, cause your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. I speak Jesus, Jesus, I speak Jesus, hallelujah, Father, I speak Jesus, praise you, Jesus, bless you. What a beautiful name it is. 
What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is, the name One with God, the Lord Most High. Your hidden glory in creation, now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my king what a wonderful name it is nothing compares to this what a wonderful name it is the name of jesus what a wonderful name it is the name of jesus death could not hold you Veil tore before you, silence the boast of sin and grace. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever. God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the day above all days. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. You have no rival, you have no equal, now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory. Yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is, nothing can stand against, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. 
What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Your name is powerful, Lord. Your name is wonderful, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you. Father. Praise you, God. Praise Glorious you, God. Glorious God. Praise Glorious you, Jesus. God. Glorious holy, God. Holy, holy are you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Praise Bless you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Holy praise you, praise you, Father God. Worship you. We give you glory and honor and praise. Bless you, God. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Holy is your name, Lord. Holy is your name, Lord. Praise you. Holy is your name, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, God. As you probably could uh, guess that at the, the start of this nation uh, was a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety, a lot of struggle, a lot of brokenness, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, and there was breakthrough. And I just, I think, you know, sometimes we, as we're celebrating a, a holiday of something that reminds us of the grace of God in our country, um, we're reminded that our focus doesn't need to be on those things. Our focus needs to be on the one who made it possible. Our focus needs to be on the one who brings the breakthrough, who overcomes, the, how the name of Jesus pierces through all things. And so for us, it's, it's ours to celebrate. Yes. So if you just have something that, you know, you just think is a wall that the Lord is just not going to break through, just trust him. Yes, Jesus. Just look at your past. Look Praise at the story that he's told. Look at the story he's told so many around you. Again and again and again and again. He will overcome. He is sovereign. He is capable. He is powerful. And he will break through. Bless Amen. 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 Please be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. That's, aff that's affirming. Um, Diana was just saying, I, I just have a sense that this morning that our praise was a declaration of his breakthrough, a, a push through. I got a phone call a few days ago from Gretzi who was saying, we're coming against so much. There's so much that we're battling and it's so hard that I think the Lord is saddened by the fact that we're focused on all the distraction, the physical brokenness, the, you know, stuff. Let's praise the Lord. The breakthrough Amen. is in pronouncing his victory. I agree praise with that. Jesus. Amen to praise that. You, Lord. A couple announcements. Um, for those of you who were here on Friday, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the help and set up and take down and clean up and feeding and all that fun stuff. I got to be behind the grill, so I didn't, didn't get to do all of the Mr. Bubble uh, stuff with, with uh, Dr. Reverend Cannon. Uh, Jeff Smead, but he brought, the, he brought his A game on Friday night uh, with bubbles that covered kids and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I did get a picture, I don't know if it's behind me, no, thank God it's not, um, of a bunch of bubbles being dumped on my head. I can put so it in the newsletter. That'll come up somewhere soon, I'm sure. Um, but thank you all for being a part of that. Uh, we have one coming up next Sunday. Uh, July 9th after the service. It's our third gathering of the summer. Uh, we'll provide burgers and beverages if you'll join in sharing our life together. Bring your favorite side dish or dessert to share. There's always enough. Um, so come and help. And if you can help with setup or cleanup or anything in between, please call Father Andrew and he'll get you plugged in and set up and ready to go. Um, just want to say that 
there are many miracles and certainly probably plenty of testimony that Dean Cole could share with us about how the Lord's been moving in uh, his downsizing <laughs> and getting ready for uh, a move, and he and others would need your help. I know that um, Mike and Sonia Carson have helped out a lot with getting him set next Saturday. Uh, they're going to get him moved, and uh, there is a need for some hands. So if you would like to help with that, would you reach out to Mike Carson or to Dean Cole and just say, yeah, I'm ready to be some muscle. I'll help you get things loaded up and go. And it will be uh, available if anybody needs the trailer that's out there, uh, and that would be a helpful thing to move uh, the trailer that's in the driveway. It, you just need a vehicle to be able to tow it. So... Um, if you'd like to use that, please do. So contact um, Mike Carson or Dean if you can help with all of that. Uh, they would be grateful. Um, next Saturday at 2 o'clock, there'll be a celebration of life service for our brother Dick Gross. Um, uh, come and join Jane and her family uh, to remember Dick's life and celebrate his homecoming. Uh, many of you know that uh, I'll be doing the same. I was planning to be officiant for uh, Dick's memorial, but I will be officiant for my brother's memorial uh, next Saturday up in Connecticut. So be praying for uh, the Morgan family as we travel yet again um, to yet again another uh, uh, opportunity to celebrate resurrection. Um, two little small vignettes in the midst of that. I'm sitting on the deck where I was, I, I went away for a couple of days this week hoping to work on my thesis, but uh, God had other plans. And I was sitting on the deck and I heard this humming sound. And I look up thinking that there was just this, you know, uh, giant bee above my head. <laughs> and I, I was allergic to bees when I was a kid, so I still have that internal, <laughs> you know. And uh, I just brought my head up and it was a hummingbird, and it was right here. And uh, that hummingbird went from here and came right here. And I was on the phone listening as my family was surrounding my brother and waiting and waiting and waiting, and we waited and prayed together. But I was just like, Lord, you always do these things. You know, what does it mean? And I looked up the meaning, a spiritual meaning of hummingbird, and it's, it's all about strength and joy and choosing life and eternity. And I was like, of course it means that. <laughs> so here we all are trying to manage everybody's emotions. And the very next day after my brother passed, we're concerned about how do we share this with our mother who's got struggles. You know, sometimes she's aware of everything that's going on and sometimes not. And you have to make sure you manage that mood. And she when she was told, she goes, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And the tears started to come, and she said, M your brother was at the end of my bed in my dreams for the last three nights telling me about how he was preparing for heaven and what he was going to do with your father when he got there. We can't make this stuff up, folks. God moves in incredible ways, and we, you know, we can ascribe good or bad to it. You know, I just, when we look at the hand of God and the way that he moves, he comforts and strengthens and meets us right in the midst of our need. And so I'm very grateful for your prayers. I'm very grateful for uh, the ways in which um, they were met and exceeded because of the fact that I'm standing right now and feeling the strength of the Lord because I know that's where my hope is. That's where my hope is. Um, a couple of other things. Uh, there's a cycling club ride that's scheduled for next Saturday at 8 o'clock, but I'm going to ask, where are they, Rich and Pam? Rich? It's just Rich? Pam, you coming up too? Come on down. You're the next contestant on the... Bike ride is right. So Gary and Chris Neffinger asked us to stand up and do a report back uh, of uh, our, what we experienced. 
excuse me, I'm an engineer, I'm going to be dry and just report the facts. <laughs> first, first of all, that was fun. Mm. Basically, it was a half hour out and a half hour back, and you can turn around any time. Parking was easy and plentiful. Lots of fresh air, exercise, companionship, and watermelon at the end. <laughs> Woohoo! We've been there two times. I did remember how to ride a bike. And we plan to re be, a, be a repeat customer. Just a little bit of an aside, if you do go to these things, Gary might uh, tell you that there might be some assignment that, that God's giving him. So he will ma many times uh, find someone that he'll be praying for uh, along the way. So don't be surprised. So I had a good time too. Um, I bought an e-bike, an electric bike, and it makes it so that you're never going uphill. And it's, it, so if you're at all worried about like, Ugh, I haven't been on a bike, I don't have much strength, most of the places that we've started off have been um, places around bike shops where you could rent an e-bike and try it out. It's, it's incredible, it's wonderful. So <laughs> come, we could use a couple more. Thank you, thank you. So if you like to bike or you hate to bike or you just don't know, um, come. It fits every shape and size and ability type and they're gonna go next Saturday. The group uh, will meet near the parking lot at Blimp City Bikes on Merriman Road, 1675 Merriman Road at 1 p.m. So if you wanna join them, uh, they'll head south to the towpath and go for an hour ride and there'll be fruit and refreshment afterward. The um, Neffingers also wanted me to tell you there's an abundance of produce that they were blessed with that is there for the taking after the service today. So if you wanna go out into the cafe and, and snag some of the extra produce that they were able to receive, uh, please do. Let's turn our attention now to the reading of God's word. Ah, yes, dismiss the kids. Sorry, Penny was back there very faithfully going, remember me back here? <laughs> Lord, bless the kids as they head to Sunday school. Give them strength. Help them to be grown into the full stature of Christ, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen? Have fun, kids. So sorry I forgot you. Now let's read God's word. The first reading is from Isaiah 2, 10 through 17. Enter into the rock and hide in the dust from before the terror of the Lord and from the splendor of his majesty. The haughty looks of man shall be brought low and the lofty pride of men shall be humbled and the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. For the Lord of hosts has a day against all that is proud and lofty, against all that is lifted up, and it shall be brought low. Against all the cedars of Lebanon, lofty and lifted up, and against all the oaks of Bashan, against all the lofty mountains, and against all the uplifted hills, against every tower and against every fortified wall, against all the ships of Tarshish, and against all the beautiful craft. And the haughtiness of man shall be humbled, and the lofty pride of men shall be brought low. And the Lord alone will be exalted in that day. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm today is 89, verses 1 through 18. I will, I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth, 
I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness to the assembly of the holy ones. For who, who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? A, a God greatly to be feared in the council of the holy ones and awesome above all who are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is as mighty as you are, O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You crushed Rehab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon, joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand. High your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exalt your name every day and in your righteousness are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor, our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. The New Testament lesson for today is from Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 11. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him, in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. Word of God, word of God, speak. Would you pour down like rain, washing my eyes to see your majesty, to be still and know that you're in this place. Please let 
let me stay and rest in your holiness, word of God, see. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord Christ. Isn't God good? I get to put this on every Sunday, and I put it on before I preach. Sometimes I remember, if I remember. But it's a symbol. It's a symbol that he reminds us that there's a yoke on a calling on my life. Uh, and he says his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Man, that burden has been really heavy the last few days. But because of the Lord, it's been light. It's been full. It's been gracious. It's been joyful. Imagine being in a place where you know that death is impending, and yet you can say, just three weeks ago, I was on a boat with my brother in the Caribbean. In the most perfect weather we've ever had on any trip with the perfect constant 20 knot winds for 10 days. You, you can't write this stuff. So we get to a psalm that we heard this morning, and I just love the opening line of it. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. Shout it out. Don't bottle it up. What, what are some of the songs of steadfastness? What comes to mind? The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. What are some of the others? Yeah, we could just sing that one forever and ever, right? What are some of the others? Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. We could go on. Others. A mighty fortress is our God. We heard it this morning. So what's the... What's that? A single word will fell him. Have you ever, have you ever cut down a tree with an axe? Man, no single swing f fells a tree. <laughs> and there's a lot of sweat and a lot of chips on the ground before that tree falls. But when it falls, man, do you feel good. And we, 
you know, we have to compare that to what we know about a life in Christ. Is that one single word, his name, Jesus, is the thing that falls the work of the enemy. The enemy's chipping away, isn't he? Do you feel it every day? Do you feel the, you know, the distraction, the despair, the sadness, the brokenness, the confusion, all of those things? You know, I, I said to my family, man, if it weren't for the fact that we were human, everything would be okay. <laughs> so we get a scripture that we got from the Old Testament this morning from Isaiah and it says, with warning to the people of God, enter into the rock and hide in the dust before the terror of the Lord. Because there's nothing that can stand in his midst. Well, what are the nothings? What are the things? He goes on and he gives us a list. He says, for the Lord of hosts has a day. He, he is what we heard last week from Jeremiah. He is a dread warrior. Typically, I, I could have preached a whole sermon on dread warrior but I'll tell you this, just the picture that we have of angelic beings is such a sales job. Like, Precious Moments probably has a corner on just angels. I'm, I'm sorry if you're a Precious Moments fan, okay? My, my apologies, but it's the cheesiest thing on the planet to have a chubby little angel with wings that couldn't take him off the ground. God is a dread warrior. He knows how to kick butt and take names. <laughs> and that's how he's described here in Scripture. For the Lord of hosts has a day against all that is proud, against those that are lofty and lifted up, and they will be brought low. So what are the things that he gives as visual things that they would have seen? The cedars of Lebanon. Anybody been to the sequoias in California? You can drive through those trees. They're massive. They're as big as this room, some of them, in circumference. And you think, wow, one little word shall fell it. The power of God is so massive. The mountains could be le leveled. The high towers, the fortified walls, the ships of Tarshish. I mean, it's sort of like imagining the, the original uh, brigade of ships that England had or the U.S. had, and people were fearful of them because they were so powerful. He can humble all the most beautiful craft, and the haughtiness of man will be humbled. The lofty pride of men will be made low. I'm, I'm, I know I'm not describing anybody here. We're we're all very humble. We have no pride, right? There's nothing that's, that sort of puffs us up. There's not, no grandeur. I mean, I get to preach at my brother's memorial next, Sunday, or next Saturday, and I will tell you this. There's, uh, there's a truth to the fact that he was a good man. He'd give his shirt to anybody who had need. He, he would honor the people that were around him in a way that was Christ-like, but also self-serving. I know as a Morgan, it feels good to serve. And there's a certain level of arrogance and pride that goes along with that that needs to be humbled, and the Lord really knows how to take us to our knees. And it's there where we really can break through and praise the Lord. Praise Him for what He's done. The Lord alone will be exalted. How cool is that? We get to see the day. I get to preach resurrection with and to my family next weekend and say there is a day coming where all of this mess will be washed away. And we get to enter into a place where the power and joy and presence and peace of the truth will be proclaimed that Jesus is Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. Jesus is trying to teach this to us, <laughs> just like he was trying to teach his disciples. And when we look at Matthew today, the, the, the gospel itself uh, needs to come out of a context, and he's, he's telling his disciples that... Uh, 
by showing them that he was going through all the towns and villages. It starts in chapter 9. He went through all the towns and villages to do three things. And at first we think, okay, this is the model, right? This is the model of discipleship. This is what we do in the world. This is what you do, right? And I'm saying this. This is what you do. I've seen it. I've watched it. Teach and preach and heal. Well, well wait, wait a second. When, when did we teach, Lord? When did we preach? When did, well, I, I don't get the pulpit. Dan's usually stuck there. We fall asleep during all of that. Just kidding. I've seen a few of you, but... Um, <laughs> the center of the ministry of Christ is to teach what was written before. To preach the fulfillment of what was written before. And because of that, to be the full presence of God, to bring about transformation that would give Glory to God, but accentuate the fact that this was not just a truth, but the truth. So he told his disciples, and when he saw the crowds, he had compassion. We've heard this over the last few weeks. And he saw that the, the disciples were harassed like sheep without a shepherd. And he saw the, the great vast harvest. And, you know, we know that the, the harvest is ripe. And the harvesters are few. And the fact of the matter is, we, we've done a disservice to Jesus by religiousizing him. You know? You know what I mean by religiousizing? You know, not for the firm believer. But I mean religiousizing him in the sense that we have put churchy names to things and we, we have spiritual or theological categories when the truth be known is when we speak prophetically to the world that needs to hear about Jesus, we encourage and we comfort and we strengthen them. They don't need any theological boundaries yet. They're just trying to get it, trying to understand it. Love them like Jesus loved them. He, his heart broke when he saw the need because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he took the 12 and he gave them authority, right? He gave them authority to do what? To tell great stories and say, these are deep thoughts by Jack Handy. <laughs> no, he gave them authority to cast out demons of every kind and heal disease and sickness. There were real things that happened. People who were blind had sight. People who were broken got healed, and they couldn't attribute it to anything but a move of God. Don't we need more of that? God is moving in our midst, and there's so much that he wants to do. And so we know he chose the 12, and he sent the 12 out, and he ta talked to them about the kingdom, and he said to them, don't go to the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of Israel first. Why? They weren't listening already. Why, why deal with them? They're, they're the ones that are coming after you. They're just causing you problems. They were the ones that were the vehicle to get the Lord's message to that point. And the Lord was going to start there so that the clear witness was either rejected or followed. The people of God were chosen and set aside for his purposes, in his time, in his way, for the kingdom of God to not only be talked about as if it were some, somewhere in the distance, but right here, right now. So the apostles didn't know what to do. <laughs> they didn't know what they were about to be sent to do. But he said, now you're going to go. Don't take an extra staff. Don't have extra shoes, no extra undies, none of your comfort clothes. Just go. No extra money. And when you bring peace, speak to that home with peace. Offer the peace that is beyond you, the peace that I'm speaking into you, the Holy Spirit's peace. And if that peace isn't received, it's okay. You deposited that peace. You planted it there. Maybe somebody else will come along and water it. Maybe somebody else will dig it up and plant it again. 
dust your feet off as a testimony against them. But he says this line that seems almost Old Testament judgment-like. It'll be worse for them than Sodom and Gomorrah. Why does he say such a thing? Because there will be, for those who do not choose or know Jesus, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Well, see, but we were a good person. We did good things. We had a good life. We weren't lost. We were just confused. Can't you just get over it? Say to the living God, can't you just get over it? But our culture is saying it every day. So Jesus anticipated their response, and he knew that they were going to go out like wolves, like sheep among wolves. And he doesn't soften the blow. He says, you know what? It's going to be difficult out there. You're going to face suffering. And yet, you're going to experience heaven on earth. You're going to experience the already and the not yet because they can kill the body, but they will not touch your soul. You have, your soul is intact because of the living God. So he sends them out. And in the midst of sending them out, uh, there is this discussion that we heard today um, from the word of God about the fact that uh, that he hasn't come to bring peace to the world. But, but wait a second, we pray for peace in Israel. We pray for hope and joy and happiness and comfort. Yes, you should. We should have those things. But let's remember that the enemy has planted seeds of dissent and division and hatred and malice and brokenness. And the cost of discipleship is this you and I will have to pick up our cross and follow him. And that may mean the things that we say about the gospel, the resurrection that we preach to those that we love might cause them to walk away, might cause them to hate you, might cause them to to be broken. I remember being um, six years old and being the priest that God had called me to be. I had no idea I was going to be a priest. I avoided it like the plague for a while. (laughs) But I can say this, at six years old, I was concerned about my grandfather's salvation when he passed. I wanted to know that he was okay. I went down and took my money from my piggy bank, and I went into Canfield Corners, and I went up to that penny candy wall of candies and man was I tempted by all that candy but I went right for that tin cross that said Jesus loves you because I wanted him to know I wanted him to know and I went to his wake and I went to put that tin cross in his pocket and uh, (laughs) the pockets were sewn shut and that wasn't fair because I wanted it in his pocket so I tucked it under his jacket and that little Six-year-old evangelist knew that God, in his infinite wisdom, speaks grace to us when we stand in judgment against him. And we know that there'll be those who have taken on such hatred and anger and malice in their lives that they won't be able to accept the fullness of God. But face to face, do you think that you're going to be able to stand? Not even the cedars of Lebanon can stand. Years later, I was... um, teaching a group of students, actually watching another another, uh, church do the youth program while I got the joy of being able to step back and uh, later do that for them on their parish retreat. And this um, preacher was sharing the gospel with the kids, and he said, I want you to all get in a circle. And all the leaders got in the circle, so I was there, so I got into the circle, and Uh, I was just about to be ordained a priest. I was ordained a deacon, and I was in Savannah, Georgia, and uh, we were in this circle, and he started to go around, and he said, I want you to look at this and think about what God's saying to you through this. He went around the circle. He started very close to me, so by the end of getting around to the circle, he got to me, and he handed me a tin cross that said, Jesus loves you on that tin cross. 
And it was almost as if the doubt that I had about the calling that I was going into was washed away and I could hear my grandfather's words. I used to sit on his lap and listen to the Met game in his uh, double wide trailer in Schenectady, New York. And I, I could almost smell him and hear him say, well done, you're in the right place. So I started to cry and I went outside the building and I walked through the doors and I'm, I'm uh, you know, trying to avoid having all the kids see me cry and then have to explain what God is doing at the moment and thinking, oh, maybe this is just a coincidence. And as I open the door, I walk into a cloud of smoke. It was the former rector of that parish smoking his pipe, the exact same blend of tobacco that my grandfather would sit and smoke every day. You can't make this stuff up. God in his infinite wisdom knows how to walk into our lives and show us that we so need him. So need him. So need an answer to this ultimate question. What's it all about, Alfie? Where are we going? What's this for? We could talk about all of our great experiences sailing trips, fantastic times together, great conversations, monumental shifts in our life. We can talk about what God's doing right here, right now, or, or maybe just what's happening right here, right now. But most of us have no clue about where we're going because we don't have a hope in the resurrection. We just say, well, you do you, I'll do me. And our culture is so laissez-faire about it. But we have an answer. And we say, it's not about religion, it's not about denomination, it's about a relationship. And Jesus is calling you and I the same way and saying, walk with me, come and see, come and see. And there's the invitation, come and see. If you feel like your faith right now in the current state of your life is dry, come and see. If you feel like you need to go deeper, you want to Take it up a notch. Put a little emerald in your faith, you know. Bam! <laughs> Come and see. If you feel like your gifts, your, your spiritual intuition is not, it is no longer useful, that is not the Lord. The Lord is not done with you yet. One of the things I, I loved about my brother, and I can say with uh, just great joy, is he fought like a bugger to the end. He fought so hard to the end. And life was something that he lived to its fullness. We are going to hear at the beginning of his service, earth, wind, and fire, because that boy cranked EWF everywhere he went and loved to boogie. He didn't care what people thought about him. He didn't care that he was a 300-some-odd-pound man. He was just out there having a good time. Whenever there was a wedding, he joked with my kids that he was going to dance with them and embarrass them because he just loved them. And my, my daughter, Lily, especially, kind of went, can, can I just leave at the dancing part? The Lord is speaking a word to us today about breakthrough. He wants to break through in your life. He wants to take down walls. He wants to destroy the things that seem insurmountable. And if you'll let him, he'll take you along for the ride. It's not about us asking and him doing. It's about him asking if we understand what he's about to do and most of us, all of us, should be saying, have no clue. I have no clue where you're going. And he says, come and see. Let's pray. Father, we're so blessed to be in your presence, and we know that um, we deserve your wrath when it comes to how uh, passe we are sometimes in our faith. And yet we know what we know in our knower that we stand on solid ground in Jesus. And we can trust that your spirit is constantly speaking around us in miraculous ways. We are surrounded by your presence and we can't make this stuff up. 
So we surrender. We surrender to your will. We ask for your uh, constant love and relationship to bowl us over every morning so that we are new and refreshed and transformed and empowered so that we can bring the good news to others, so that we can teach and preach and heal. We trust you, Lord. Help us to be free in you so that we might proclaim what we know to be true, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's pray for the church and for the world as our hearts and voices proclaim our desire to see you move in our midst. We pray for peace, that the world would operate in your presence, apply your love, and live in unity until we are called into your heavenly kingdom. Peace, Lord. Peace. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for our archbishop, our bishop, our priests, and our deacons. We know that we are connected to a larger fellowship sphere of influence than just our church, St. Luke's. And we pray that we would be unified in our purpose and in ministry so that people would be drawn to your transforming love and for kingdom purposes. Reach the world. Be with us all. Bring in your people. We pray for your word, that it would go out to the ends of the earth. We pray for all believers to have a hunger for you and your word and to seek to teach and disciple others from it. Thank you, Jesus. Open those doors. We pray for believers and missionaries who are persecuted for their faith. Safety, Lord. Provision. Be with them. Be with them. We pray for you to call our nation back to you and for those in authority and in public service that they may seek your face and do your will. Please, Father. Please. We pray for the broken, for the anxious, the depressed, the ill, the recovering, or any form of physical or spiritual 
oppression. Free them, Lord. Free them. We thank. Please. We pray for those who grieve the loss of loved ones. We thank you, Lord, for the hope of heaven. And we entrust those who have passed to your eternal care. Father God, we lift our hearts to you in prayer, trusting our hopes and hearts, desires to your presence, response. May we continue to give thanks for your continued hand upon our lives and that our hearts and minds would be aligned with your will. As we pray to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Let us humbly confess our sins to the Lord. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who sincerely repent and with true faith turn to him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear the word of God to all who truly turn to him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have this saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save who? Sinners. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of who? The whole world. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Exchange the peace with one another. Peace. Thanks for that announcement this morning. I love an engineer's announcement. <laughs>
and with your spirit. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Thank you. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful... Yeah. Amen. Please be seated. At your name, the mountains shake and crumble. At your name, the oceans roar and tumble. At your name, the angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O oh Lord. At your name, the morning grace in glory. At your name, creation sings to story. At your name, angels will bow, the earth will rejoice, your people cry out. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, oh Lord. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to shout your name, O oh Lord. There is no one like our God, we will praise you, praise you, no one like our God, we will sing, we will sing, there's no one like our God. We will praise you, praise you, no one like our God. We will sing, we will sing, there's no one like our God. We will praise you, praise you, there's no one like our God. We will sing, Lord of all the earth, we shout your name. Shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Lord of all the earth, we shout your name, shout your name, filling up the skies with endless praise, endless praise, Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh. We love to shout your name, O oh Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Things come of you, O Lord, and of 
and of your own have we given you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him praise. Thanks and praise. It is right and our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection, open to us the way of everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord most holy, holy, holy Lord most high of glory, power, and praise and blessing now we raise for you alone can save holy, holy, holy Lord most holy, holy, holy Lord most High of glory, power, and grace, and blessing now we raise, for you alone can save. Holy and gracious you. Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had sinned against you and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent your only Son into the world for our salvation. By the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, he became a flesh and dwelt among us. In obedience to your will, he stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself once and for all, that by his suffering and death, we might be saved. By his resurrection, he broke the bonds of death, trampling hell and Satan under his feet. As our great high priest, he ascended to your right hand in glory, that we might come with confidence before the throne of grace. On the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. Thank you, Lord. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Bless you, Lord. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Is Christ, Christ is, risen. is risen. Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your word and Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Sanctify us also that we may faith worthily receive this holy sacrament and may be made one body with him, so that he may dwell in us and we in him. Yes. And bring us with all your saints into the fullness of your heavenly kingdom, where we shall see our Lord face, face to, to face. face. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the, the feast. feast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Together. Mm -hmm. We do not presume to come to this your table. O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercies, apart from your grace, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord, whose character is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy Grant us your peace. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. We take them in remembrance that Christ died for us, and we feed on him in our hearts by faith and with thanksgiving the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Please be seated. God, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed, give me vision to see things like you do, God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from, give me wisdom, you know just what to do. to do and 
And I will love you, Lord, my strength. I will love you, Lord, my shield. I will love you, Lord, my rock. Forever, all my days, I will love you, God. Alleluia. Take me past the outer courts and through the holy place, past the brazen altar, Lord, I want to see your face. Pass me by the crowds of people, the priests to sing their praise. I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, but it's only found one place. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold, cleanse my lips. Here I am. Take me past the outer courts and through the holy place, past the brazen altar. Lord, I want to see your face. Pass me by the crowds of people, the priests who sing their praise. I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, and it's only found one place. Take me in the holy of holies take me in by the blood of the lamb take me in to the holy of holies take the cold let my lips here I am take me in to the holy blood of the Lamb. Take me into the Holy of Holies. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, here I am. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, here I am. Take the cold, cleanse my lips, here I am. Bless you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy Lord God. Oh. 
Blessed Trinity, holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glass. Thank you, Lord. Just ask, Lord, that you would speak. Your word of interpretation, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We honor your presence, Lord. Yes, Lord, we, we bless you for your presence is great amongst us today. Just for ways that you've been moving amongst us, touching us, healing us, encouraging us breaking strongholds and filling us with the reality of, of uh, your conquering death in the grave and the, the reality of resurrected life and eternal life. We 
So grateful for the ways you've been speaking today, Lord. Bless you. Together, let us pray the prayer of thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we thank, thank you, you for feeding, feeding us with the spiritual, spiritual food of, of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our, our Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, and, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out into the world to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. I always like to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I know. All of our problems, we, we send, send to, to the, the cross, cross of Christ. Christ. All of our difficulties, we send to the cross of Christ. All of the devil's works, we send to the cross of Christ. And all of our hopes, we, we set, set on, on the, the risen Christ. Christ. Would you like to do the blessing? Sure. So now be blessed. Yes, Lord. Be blessed by Jesus Thanks. whom you've received. Forget not the poor and pray for the sick. Make no peace with anything that would oppress you. And live as those who know of the steadfast love yes, of our Lord. Lord. Thank you. And may the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Thank you. Amen. 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 Men of faith, rise up and sing of the great and glorious King. You are strong when you feel weak in your brokenness come Shout to the north and the south, sing to the east and the west. Jesus is Savior to all, Lord of heaven and earth. Rise up, women of the truth. Stand and sing to broken hearts Who can know the healing power Of our awesome King of love Shout to the north and the south Sing to the east and the west Jesus is Savior to all Lord of heaven and earth Shout to the Lord Shout to the north and the south, sing to the east and the west. Jesus is Savior to all, Lord of heaven and earth. We've been through fire, we've been through rain, we've been refined by the power of his name. We've fallen deeper in love with you. You burn the truth on our lips. We will shout to the north and the south. Sing to the east and the west. Jesus is Savior to all. Lord of heaven and earth. Rise up church with broken wings. Fill this place with songs again Of our God who reigns on high In His grace again we will fly Shout to the north and the south Sing to the east and the west Jesus is Savior to all Lord of heaven and earth we will shout to the north and the south. We will sing to the east and the west. Jesus is Savior to all, Lord of heaven and earth. You are Lord of heaven and earth. You are Lord of heaven and earth. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. I'd rather Thanks go first. be to God. We will shout the north and 
the south. Sing 